still getting used to my hair. I just dyed it a few years ago, or a few years. I just dyed it a few days ago and I, like this is pretty close to my natural hair color. Um, obviously it's really vibrant because it's freshly dyed. Um, but I have been blonde for like the past five years, ever since um, going into my senior year of high school and then really once I got into college. Uh, I've been blonde, but now I am dark and I am so excited. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to the first ever video that you're watching of mine. Today's video is going to be a comparison between the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus subscription and the BoxyCharm base subscription. It's been kind of a while since I've wanted to do this, but I wanted to get used to both subscriptions um, before I really started to compare the two, kind of get a good feel for them because I've only been subscribed since May. And last month was the ultimate for BoxyCharm, or was it ultimate or... What is it called? I'm like blinking, but it's the one where you get eight to nine products and it does it like every three months rather than your normal base or premium box that you get. The reason why I couldn't do last month is because I paid $50 for that one. Since it is a larger subscription, it comes every three months um, and replaces my base box, whereas the base box is the same price as the Ipsy Land Bag Plus. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxings. I'm going to do Ipsy first and I'll talk about that as well. So if you're not familiar with Ipsy, they have three different subscriptions. You can do the regular bag, which is $12 a month. You can do this bag, which is the Clam Plus bag. It is $25 a month and you get to pick up two, three options. I believe you have to pick all three and if you choose not to decide, they'll randomize all three of them. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I've been picking ever since they started this. They started this in the beginning of August. So you're picking three fifths, uh, so 60% of what you're receiving and then they pick out the two other items. It used to be you only pick out one item, but now it's up to three. And then they also have an ultimate, which is a $50 subscription and can be compared to the boxy charm um deluxe premium i cannot remember what it's called for the life of me but i will remember it and put it on the screen here um once i'm editing but without further ado let's get into this unboxing so i'm hoping for something spooky i think i've seen the bag when i picked out my items if i remember right it was some type of halloween but let's see so it's a another strappy bag and this reminds me a lot of like astrology it says like your magic on the back but i this is my favorite bag so far i think this is really cool i love the vibe um and it has a bunch of different like makeup stuff like a brush lipstick compact little thing lips and all that i really I've, I've been really digging this type of bag so like on the bag it says your magic this is this month's theme it has this cool purple and kind of like goldy like it gives it gives me really really big halloween but astrology vibes as well on the card it says with a pinch of shimmer and a wave of your mascara wand this month cast a spell on yourself whether it's nailing the perfect smoky eye or taking the big life leap letting your intuition guide you to your goals learn more about this month's theme at ipsy.com slash blog slash your magic so there's a blog post about it um, your full moon beauty guide. There's a full moon on Halloween. Halloween's on a Saturday. My dad said that you can see the full moon, I think from every single time zone and it hasn't been that way since like 1944. Something really cool like that. I'm a nerd and I like that type of stuff. So for our first item in our Ipsy bag is the Nomad Berlin Underground Palette. This retails for $37. Let's open her up. The shades look gorgeous. They have um, the little shade colors in the back um, but here is the front of the palette Ooh, it's very pretty it comes with a mirror as you can see and then there are the colors i think this color story is beautiful for fall like absolutely stunning i want to go ahead and swatch a few of these i'm going to do kind of this minty shade this kind of like a green it's like an emerald green but very bluey vibe this gold shade and then this purple shade so first we have this minty one Ooh, that's really pretty very much so like a topper next we have this bluey green color not very patchy glides on pretty well and here's the gold one 
Oh, that's stunning. That's very, very pretty. I love how reflective that is. And then I'm gonna do the purple one on top here. Ooh, very pigmented. Love that. That would be a really good Halloween color. Like this row alone is screaming like witch vibes to me, which I'm gonna be a witch for Halloween. So maybe I will play with that because my hat is purple. For the next item in our bag, we have the Tarte Double Beauty Shape Tape Setting Powder. It has a really, really long title and it doesn't even have the full title on here. But this puppy retails for $34. I got it in the shade Translucent. Let's see what the packaging looks like. Here is your kind of standard uh, shape tape packaging. Very pretty, I really do like those. I've never bought anything from Tarte that is the shape tape. I've never had the concealer. I know it's a holy grail. I just always get like the dupes. I use a lot of ColourPop. I've done the e.l.f. one. Um, I really do want to try it. I just never find myself actually buying it. So when you open it, it has a mirror and a little fluff and it has a netting pad. I got some on my finger. Let's see if it really is translucent. You can't see it on my camera. It did leave a white cast, but I mean, I didn't think it was too bad after I really, really blended it out. So I'm excited to try this. I can't really say too much about this yet because I haven't tried it, um, but I will in my next video if I liked it or not. For the third product in my bag, I have the Misho Beauty Nail Duo. I believe that's how it's pronounced. It's spelled M-I-S-C-H-O and this retails for $37. Now I only got one shade and a top coat. I'm going to only get the shade out because you know what a top coat looks like and they're both um, the same packaging. But here is the shade that I got. It's really like pale pink. It, it looks very like gray purpley on camera, which is kind of surprising because in per person it's it's more pink. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty tiny. So $37 for this and a top coat that's in the same size bottle is really, really pricey. Normally I get like Essie nail polish or, or uh, like the Insta Dry, like anywhere between like three to eight dollars so 37 which is let's see that'd be about 18 am i doing that right yeah 18 18.50 a piece that's really really pricey let me swatch this on a box real quick so you guys can see what color it is as you can see there's a color it's a very like nudie pink but i really like that i think i'm really gonna like this for a fall so i'm pretty excited the only thing um I don't really like about this product is the price but you know I didn't pay full price for it and that is the beauty of the subscription. For the fourth product in our Ipsy bag we have the Violet Voss lip gloss in shade. Let's see if it has it on here. I don't see the shade name so let me open it out of the box. It is in the shade Adore. It is this color. I didn't have any lipstick or lip gloss on just in case I did get a lip product so let me try this real quick. That has kind of that, it's not a doe foot applicator, it's bendy and it has like that little opening there. I haven't seen one of these in years. This color is very pink. Um, not sure if I like it for me, maybe, maybe if I had like a really pinky I look, this obviously doesn't go with this eye look, but I think it's a really beautiful pink color. I just don't really go for too vibrant of pinks, but I I think I'm kind of digging it. It smells like sweet tarts. Really, really smells like sweet tarts. And I forgot to say how much this retails for. This retails for $12, so not bad. This is, I think, the cheapest product that I have in the box, but I would definitely buy more. I think this formula is awesome. It's very pigmented. It's glossy, but it's not sticky. So I'm not afraid of like my lips getting together. And hopefully it has long wear. Since it is a gloss, I'm sure it's it transfers. But I mean, you, you kind of got to expect that with the gloss. But I'm excited to try a pink look with this for sure. So for the fourth item in the bag, we have something from Pure Lease. Love this brand. It is the Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Priming moisturizer. So here is what the bottle looks like. Very similar to the watermelon one I received in, I believe, June. See how this goes on. So it is a very like white opaque color. 
and it goes on very smooth. Mmm, smells very refreshing. Kind of reminds me of like makeup wipes smell. Like I get the green tea vibe from it, but also like very just like clean and rehydrating. Um, it says the Benefits Green Tea is a powerful antioxidant that moisturizes skin and protects from signs of aging. White tea soothes sensitive skin. Vitamin E prevents premature aging and improves skin texture. French marine plants help retain moisture. I forgot to mention this retails for $45, so it is really pricey, but I know there's a discount code that Epsi is offering right now for Pure Leaf products. I think they do it pretty often because you see a ton of Pure Leaf products in Epsi bags all the time, so I'm, I'm really not surprised, but go check that out if you're interested. So that is it for this month's Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of October. I'm pretty excited about the products I got. It's not the most exciting bag, but I, I think I'm going to use all the products. And it was a $165 value, which I only paid $25 for. And it was a one, I believe $120, $125 uh, promise for what I would receive. So they definitely exceeded that promise value. So I'm pretty pumped. Every single item was $30 or more, except for this lip gloss, which was $12. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty impressed with all the products I received. One critique that I do have, as much as I love Pure Lease products, I, it's be kind of becoming like the next Wonder Beauty of Ipsy. I used to watch a ton of unboxing videos before I ever started subscribing and making my own videos and Wonder Beauty was everywhere. And I feel like Pure Lease and Cialte London are kind of becoming that next Wander Beauty product for Ipsy. I know they partner with a lot of different brands and so that's why you will see, uh, you know, repeat sometimes one month, I may get a product that you got two months ago. That's pretty normal and I mean, I'm, I'm not hating it. I just kind of, I'm kind of hoping for some new stuff soon, some more new exciting stuff. I know there's more makeup coming out and Ipsy is doing a lot of great collabs. Like the Nomad palette is actually an Ipsy exclusive so you can't get it anywhere else unless you got it in your bag. So I think that's really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of hoping to get some more products from different brands or maybe some brands that we haven't seen in a while from Ipsy. But that's the only critique I have for this bag and so far I, I'm loving it. Next up we have a boxy charm. I've already opened the box with scissors so I wouldn't cut myself on camera. But here is this month's theme, Candy Shop. Very fitting for the month of October with Halloween. So for the first product we have, let's see, what is this? This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Tinted Cup of Cow Lip Butter. I don't know how to pronounce that word. It's C-U-P-U-A-C -U -U with the little accent on the bottom, A. I don't, I don't really know how to pronounce that, so I'm really sorry. This is the packaging it doesn't say a like shade or anything it just says soul matte on the back but this is what it looks like i think that's such a pretty rose gold shade very simple packaging you just comes off like this let's see does have a sheer tint to it. That's very, very pretty. It smells delicious. It smells buttery, kind of like, like popcorn type butter, but a little bit sweet too, um, but not too strong of a scent. I would try this on, but I don't have anything to take this off with me in this room. But I think that's really, really pretty. Very, very good for fall. Once again, I forgot the price. This retails for $20. So not too bad, a little bit on the higher end, but you know, still somewhat affordable. Next in the bag, we have Lexi brushes. I have never received Lexi brushes and I've heard nothing but good things about them. This is the Wonderless set and it retails for $40. It says it has a tapered shading brush, blending brush, medium angled brush, larger shader brush, plus a brow and lash brush. So let's open it up. comes in this cute little brush bag that says Luxie, it's black, and then it has a rose gold zipper. Ooh, they're blue. They're like pretty kind of like almost, I know periwinkle is supposed to be like purple, but it's, it's kind of giving me like periwinkle vibes, but here are like that medium angled brush. Very, very soft. 
Um, I don't have a, I do have a lot of eye brushes, but I feel like I have kind of like all of the same type of brushes. Like I don't have a brush that's like this, or I don't have um, too many brushes like this. Like obviously I do makeup a lot. And so having m multiple brushes is nice for when you cannot clean them every single day, especially cause they take forever to dry. But these are so, so cute. I cannot wait to try these. So next in our box, our third product is from a brand I've never heard of. It's called Lava with two A's Lashes. They are based in Los Angeles. Um, it doesn't have a name for these lashes. It just says Premium Faux Mink, which I love mink lashes. It does come with instructions. So I thought this was glue for a moment, but it comes with instructions. I think these are so pretty. I really don't wanna take these out just yet. They're very, very glam, but subtle. So they're not like too in your face. And I've finally been able to wear some more bolder lashes. Um, I wore some, I wore the Sarah lashes from the ColourPop Hocus Pocus collection the other day. And they were pretty intense for what I normally wear, but they looked gorgeous. And I need to stop being too afraid to wear longer lashes. I think it's because I put it eyes that I get kind of scared of wearing them, but I really shouldn't. I'm very excited to try these out. Um, and these retail for $19.99. So cannot wait to try these out with like, kind of like a natural soft glam look. So for the fourth item in our box, we have something from Murad. This is, I believe like, the third Murad item I have gotten in a subscription like three months in a row. This is the AHA VHA Exfoliating Cleanser. It retails for $40. This is actually, I believe, the cheapest Murad product I have received. Um, and it's pretty big. Usually Murad is a little bit smaller, um, cost around closer to like $60. Cleansers are pretty standard. So cleanser being one of the cheaper items makes a lot of sense to me. First Aid Beauty is like that way their cleansers kind of way cheaper than like their primer and their moisturizer. So it makes a lot of sense, but I'm pretty surprised with how big this is. It says on here to use, massage a small amount over damped face and neck, rinse with warm water and pat dry. For optimal results, use two to three times weekly. So this is a, an exfoliating cleanser. This is not an everyday cleanser. An exfoliator, you should really only use one to two times a week. I usually only do once, um, especially when you're just starting it out. Try it just once because you can really, really harm your face if you do, if you over exfoliate. Um, but I'm surprised this says one to, or two to three, but this is a very high end skincare brand. So I'm, I trust their, their instructions. It's a lot like just came out. Oh my goodness. Should have put this back on. But there it's that opaque kind of white look again. And you can kind of feel the little grainy parts of the exfoliator, but so far on my hand, it feels very gentle, um, not too harsh. And I'm, I like that the exfoliator things aren't, aren't too big and aren't too noticeable. Cause I feel like if they are, you kind of feel like you're scratching your face. Like you're a little bit scared. I don't know that's just me. But yeah. Okay, for our fifth and final product of our BoxyCharm box for the month of October is from Beauty Bakery. I have never tried this brand out before. I know they kind of um, kind of rose to, to uh, stardom here the past few years and they've been just kind of killing it. This palette is so fall. Like you can have warm and cool tone. This is your cool tone fall palette. I've been waiting for something like this. This is so pretty. I have to swatch. So here is the shade French Doors. Kind of has like a sheen purpley vibe. Ooh. Okay, yeah, you can kind of see it there. It's really hard to see on my arm. Yeah. It's really, really pale, but I can see it on my arm. It seems kind of more like a topper shade. But here next we have Lazy Baby that pretty purple mm, a little streaky it looks way different on camera so this looks like more reddish than it does in person like it looks way more purpley in person but then here is pajamas Ooh, that's a really nice vibrant like coppery red it's really really pretty i would swatch all of them all but like you said i want to keep this video as short as 
I can, I don't wanna bore too much. This palette is absolutely stunning. It retails for $38, so not too bad. You are getting um, nine shades. So a little bit pricier um, and I the quality seems okay. I do think you can get something like this from like ColourPop and get the same type of quality, but I will have to give this more of a try. Obviously swatches, they're not, they're not all you need to know for eyeshadow. I think the color story is absolutely gorgeous. So I am still extremely excited to try this. All right, that is it for this month's boxy time for the month of October. So I was looking at BoxyCharm's website and they said that the value is normally 125 for the, like ever since I've been subscribed. But last month I saw that it was a higher value and I'm pretty sure it said 195, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, future Gabby as I'm editing, that's who I'm talking to, not to my audience. And this month it came out to be $158, which I'm not complaining. I paid $25 for this box. So me getting $158 worth of product, that's amazing. But I wonder why they're changing that value just because I feel like they should just keep it saying that it's 125 or maybe maybe they should amp it up to make like maybe 140. I don't think I've ever had a boxy charm that's been less than 140. Um, but I was surprised they made it seem so much higher. I'll make sure to put a disclaimer somewhere because then hopefully I'm not just rambling too much. So far this month, I don't know if I could pick a winner between the two. I think they're both very similar to my likings. I think that I'm going to use every single product that I received, but I'm not like extremely overwhelmed by the products that I received, but I'm also not underwhelmed. I don't think I got any duds. I have gotten from brands I've never tried so I'm really really excited about that but yeah I'd have to declare a draw on this one. Um, hopefully next month I can do a winner but I think this month it's it's pretty similar especially with getting like an eyeshadow palette, some skincare stuff. They're very very similar and like I said not too overwhelming or underwhelming so it's really really hard for me to pick a winner. All right, so that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you still like this format. It will take me a little bit longer to get videos up if I keep it this way because one usually comes before the other and they're usually about four days to a week apart. So if you want me to just do separate videos and get whichever one I get first up as fast as possible that's fine with me too i was just kind of wanting to do like a comparison because i know people love to see the comparison between the boxes since they are the same price that you pay for and very similar in value so if you want me to keep it this way just let me know also let me know what you guys got in your boxes because i love to see the different types of products people get like did we get the same thing did we get some different stuff like how similar are we um if you like this video please like share and subscribe you don't have to do all of that um if you don't want to but i would appreciate it very very much so if you did i am just so thankful that you watched all the way to this point also if you're interested in any of my social media you can find me here instagram at gab about me and gabby Devley and then Twitter, Gabby underscore Deadly. I'm hopefully going to post more Halloween looks. I did my Hocus Pocus collection one. I already did a spider look as well. Um, I kind of want to do a revamped one of the spider look though. So hopefully some fun looks on the way. But yeah, thank you guys so much again for watching this video and I can't wait to see you guys until next time. Bye guys.